Okay, so what we put here, it says here that the cable of a tower crane is subjected to 800 Newton force, tower crane with force. Yeah, that's the cable. That's the cable where a force of 840 Newton is applied. A fixed base at A supports the crane. So at here, the crane is supported. So the crane is rigidly supported at point A. Find the reaction at the fixed point A. A. Okay, so can anyone tell me how many reaction, uh, uh, how many rea reaction forces I'll get at point A? Six. 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 Yes. Yes. Because it's, it's fixed. It's fixed to the ground. It cannot rotate in any axis. It cannot move in any axis. So all three, um, you have three linear uh, constraints and three rota rotating constraints. So the very first thing we're going to do is draw the free body diagram of it. Look, I've got one active force, which was this one. That's it. The remaining are my six reactive forces. So I've got a lot of uh, uh, unknowns at this point. And I've got a force which is in scalar form. I need to convert this in vector first so that I get the individual components out. So the force along X, force along Y, and force along Z. So I've got F. That's my, this is the F part. And I want to find the, the force, I want to convert this force into vector form. So how can I do that? How can I convert this force into a vector form? Sir, BC ka unit vector nikal ke Yes, you're very much right, yeah. BC, position vector from B to C. You got the position vector. You got all the dimensions given here. Look, all the dimensions given. So you can you can get your ve position vector out. Once you got the position vector out, then it's basically simple. You need to get the unit vector out, and you know what how you do that. Ready to divide by the magnitude, and thus you have your your force in sorry your 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 force in vector form. Now let's look at the linear forces at the, at the point A, point A. I'm looking at the linear reactive forces and that's your linear reactive force. So you can easily compare and thus you can get with your individual components on it's that easy. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Excuse me. So oh, it's again. Um, sir, why are the forces directed away from the base of the crane? E X and Uh So I didn't get it. Sir, why are the forces E X and A Y in the diagram? Uh, they are directed away from the base of the crane. Away from the base. You you you're talking of uh, any one component here? Yes, sir. Which component? So he's talking about direction of A and A X and A Y. This one. Yes, sir, which you highlighted in the figure as well, the free body type. Yes, so that's my A X, that's my A Z, and that's my A Y. So, so your question is why I've got my A Z up? Is that why? No, sir, AX and AY, which are like away from the base A. Oh, okay. So you're saying the, the why I didn't do this. Is that what you're saying? Yes. yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do that. You can do that. Then what will happen? Your AX becomes positive and AY will be positive. That's it. No okay, issue. Thank you. You can assume, uh, as I mentioned, you have to assume the unknown, but whatever you assume, you don't change it during your, uh, during the, your, 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 during 
your uh, analysis. If I've done AX here and AY here, I've zoomed it, the answer tells me, hold on, the answer tells me it's negative. So my AX is basically in this direction and my AY negative means my AY is in this direction. So it doesn't matter, okay? Yes, sir, thank you. Similarly, if you take moment, moment at point M. So moment at point M, I've got three couple moments and I've got moment because of this force. Remember, do you remember this? Moment to calculate moment at point A, you need position vector AC or AB. So position vector should be from the point where you find want the moment to be calculated to the point on the line of fraction. Remember? So therefore, I can take either A, B, or A, C, any. So here in this example, we're taking A, C. You can do the moments. You get your moments out. Simple as that. That's your moment, reaction moment. you got three moments. you got the moment because of the force. And you got the answers out. Is that clear to everyone? There's no rocket science here. Okay, sure. You already know how to find moment at any point uh, in vector form. <clears throat> 